Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. I do this update video a bit earlier than I normally do because we've had some great developments. Cardano has been pushing and pushing higher and higher today. I mean, I did this breakout video this morning, but this morning we were still below two US dollars and it seems like we're getting through there. And to be honest, when I opened my um, TradingView app on the phone, I actually, uh, and no, sorry, the CoinMarketCap app on the phone, I actually briefly saw that Cardano was just above Binance coin. So Cardano was top three cryptocurrency um, by market cap. And as you can see, even now, I mean, it's gone up and it's sort of uh, retraced a little bit now, which is of course normal. But it seems like that Cardano overtook briefly Binance coin by market cap. But now Binance is going up as well. So in, in the end, it doesn't matter. But uh, giving having Cardano as an established number three cryptocurrency i think that would give cardano a little bit more um another push maybe another push just because it's sort of psychological isn't it and um as we you know m many people believe cardano could overtake ethereum one day now we are far away from that but yeah i agree it could happen i can't predict the future but that is why cardano is my biggest holding but obviously good developments we are fighting for the $2 mark here. We are really fighting. It seems like we're retracing now a little bit, but let's have a quick look here at the chart. What's going on? A huge pump again, huge pump. What we need to be careful, of course. And I, I, you know, why is this happening? Of course it's happening because today we are being told when smart contracts will go live. I don't think we have a, we have a date yet. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't checked Twitter yet. I haven't seen anything from Input Output Hong Kong. I just thought I'd give you that update. Of course, as, as soon as I hear something about that, I'll let you know as well later today but um, we need to be a bit careful because when we pumped before the last hard fork in these huge pumps here and you know the candle itself is not bigger than it is today but um, what do we need to be careful the, the percentage I mean look at that that's pretty similar to what we are looking for what we are seeing now before that hard fork yeah this huge pump and um, it's just to be careful of I mean in percent what we went up back then when you know when that um here started just that one impulse um that was 170 percent just one but there we had three of them before the hard fork so 170 percent what are we doing now and it's just to to, to always be careful that uh, and, and to be aware of that these retracements will happen I, I can't predict when they will happen but you can sort of use the indicators to get a view so that was now roughly 103 percent so it is more um, there is still a bit of scope if we just go by what happened last time before the hard fork in just that one pump. Now, that could obviously mean we might get three of these pumps. You know, I, I don't know, but we might get three of these pumps um, as well this time. But then you can see back then we had actually, um, we, we pumped and then we had that retracement here. And that was quite a bit actually. That was, again, from up here, we went down... 17 percent and just be aware of that that can always happen and this i you know i just want to make clear because we're still early on this channel this is an early channel i'm not someone i don't want to recommend any trades to you i'm i'm not one you know i i, I because i'm not a day trader i'm not in front of the screen all the time and i'm not day tra i'm not day trading normally i don't so i'm invested in the long run and i like to track these developments i like to keep you up to date and talk about my own thoughts and come to my own conclusions about where the price might be coming. But please never understand this as, you know, you should buy now, you should enter a long trade now. I don't want to do that. And I also don't want to, um, yeah, really, yeah, I don't really want to talk about recommending anything because that's eventually up to you. I mean, I had a few comments about, you know, wh when should I go start buying? And I understand that these questions come up, but it, there's so much to it. And it's all these, you know, what is your strategy? I think for me personally, um, in the long run, Cardano will hit 10, 20, 30, maybe even $50, but it's the time frame you're looking at. I mean, $50 in 10 years? I think so. But does it mean you should enter a long, trend, uh, long, long, long trade now? I don't know. That's up to you. That's all up to you. I can only talk about the charts here, talk about what I can see. And if I believe that we will f uh, see m further moves to the upside, and I've just given you the answer, that I think we're in a big uptrend for crypto. We are a big uptrend for Cardano. I think Cardano has huge potential. And what I like about Cardano is that it has a real, real use case and the potential is there to overtake Ethereum one day. That is why I, it is my biggest holding. And it, we, you know, clearly you can see now, and I've been talking about that for two months now on this channel, when I started the channel, 
started to talk about Cardano and two months ago we were in a, in this bearish movement. So, you know, it, it's, it's just my view that Cardano has a huge potential. So where are we now? We are obviously went through this $2 level. I showed you yesterday the, uh, the possible retracements as well, but $2 came up as huge resistance level um, in terms of, you know, when you take a look at the Fibonacci retracement levels and also $2 just by itself is a psychological mark and also it acted as resistance and support before here um, at around the 14th of May and the 20th of May. And what happens now next? I can't tell you. I don't know. Um, it all depends on how does the chart develop further. You know, will we will we see, a, you know, will we close above the $2 mark? I think that determines the moves going forward. Will we close above the $2 mark and then hold that level? I believe that could position us for a longer term positive trend above $2. Um, if we now see a retracement from two dollar if we if we if we don't get through i still think we'll take the two dollar mark very soon because two dollars it's just the next level to a new all-time high and by all you know just bear in mind we're not far away from the all-time high so be a bit careful it all depends on your own strategy i in in no means uh by own by no means on this channel i want to hype this um i do hype cardano because I, I believe in cardano but i don't there's always risk to it and someone asked, can we still go back to 150? Yeah, of course we can. This can always happen. We could even go down to a dollar. And if the whole crypto market crashes and Cardano gets wiped out, I don't think it will, but there's a tiny chance Cardano might go back to to to, to nothing if, if something happens. You know, that, that that's why we always say, and everybody pretty much says that on YouTube, only invest what you can afford to lose. So there is a lot of risk, but there's also a lot of potential, which is why Cardano is my biggest holding so we're only 15 percent 15 percent away from the all-time high what do we do now will that happen will that happen on the weekend guys i don't know it is much earlier than i would have expected we've went we, we went through all these resistance levels here now in you know now we obviously massively overboard but in this current environment with smart contracts coming everything is possible we could even go to I don't know, we could go to $3, just look at some other cryptos, how they moved to the moon. And um, I've always said in this channel, on this channel that I, I, I believe realistically this year, four and a half to five dollars. Um, now, there are so many scenarios that could happen now. And that this, you know, I, I don't know. I, for, for me, in the next few weeks, it will just go up. Ahead the hard fork, it will go up. There can be days, there can even be a week where we retrace. But I think until we see that hard fork rollout will move up and up and up. That's my only personal prediction. Please uh, come to your own conclusions before you make any investment decisions. All right, hopefully you appreciated that quick update. I hope you liked it. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.